Hello, 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 you guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's the Seam Tarot. So excited, so excited to do these videos. Um, we're going to do some readings, okay? So this is for the collectives. I haven't made collectives in a while. Usually, this shows them out for you, like five, four videos. But let's see what's going on, y'all. So collectives, if this message do resonate with you, remember to like this video, give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. If it doesn't resonate, I will have a link in the description box. It will be your playlist. If you want to um, support me further, you could go over to my Instagram page and follow me on there as soon as we hit that 5Ks. I will definitely start those free personal readings on the gram, okay? <clears throat> so let's get started for the collective, please. What's their energy? with their major energy that they need to work on for the collective? There's one card. For the collectives. <clears throat> One card. Enlightenment. Ooh. Well, I have the, this card before in Haridan, and I'm feeling like this is something major to everyone. I feel like um, sometimes people need to recharge, get away, find themselves, find out what they're most interested in. I feel like a lot of people is living for other people right now and not for themselves. And I feel like this is something that you need to focus on, okay, and be very careful of. Because life is very short, okay? Life is not guaranteed. Tomorrow is not guaranteed to you. So make sure you're living the potential life that you are, you want to invest in, you want to save for. And make sure that you are having the feedback in your life for what you really want to put out, okay? Make sure you're safe, you're sharing your um, creativity or whatever you want to invest in, whatever you want to try to the right people so that can bring it to life. And make sure you're putting your energy in things that you want to put your energy in. Make sure you're living that dream job the way you want it and not because you're just doing a 95 to get by, okay? All right, so this is what I see. It's very hard to do because, you know, everybody has their situation here and you know you got to provide right you got to provide for your family so whatever is going on this is what it is but a lot of us are forgetting their our main calling and we're just you know sitting back doing the things that people want us to do and not living our full potential life and this card is a reminder of that okay um you're here to do bigger things you're here to be big, bigger than what you think you are um, here to do and what you're doing now okay and this is just a, a reminder to you to keep on track all right all right what's going on for the collective in love please any messages for the collective in love yeah there's some messages all right the collective in love what's going on for the collective in love All right, we have a young energy that's coming through. All right, there's going to be new potential love with this person. You are not really interested in this person. All right, this is someone that is very, um, it, they could be an, um, a person that is just all over the place, honestly. I'm feeling that this person is a player or come off as a player, someone that just want to see the flow of things or to see where things go with you, not potentially giving you the long, stable, commit, committed relationship that you desire. Because I feel like for some of you, you're definitely at a place where you're waiting for someone. You might feel a little bit tired waiting for this opportunity or feeling like this person is never going to come into your life because you want to settle down with someone that truly matters to you, okay? And that is on the same level as you because I do see new love coming your way, but you're like blocking it for some reason but it's coming regardless you know it's coming regardless but if you're not interested in it you know of course it's just gonna pass you by but i do see some balance here even though you're focusing your work you're focusing yourself right now i feel like for most of you you are aware of the enlightenment that it is called like you're aware of what this card is all about like you may be feeling like okay something i need to be out here doing that's bigger than me okay I'm not living my dream. I'm not living my full potential. Because I see that there is some healing. Like you're choosing yourself at this present time. And this is why you might not be ready for love. Or you might not be open to it. Alright. 
or this person might just scare you because they're coming off as someone that is like all about fun, you know, partying all the time, you know, coming off as an immature person, somebody that's very jealous of you maybe, wants you to hang out with them at all times, could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra energy. But I feel like whatever you're desiring is coming to you. It's going to be offered to you in the Ace of Cups. Whatever this cup is that you desire, um, it's going to be coming towards you, okay? I feel like there was a relationship where this person um, made you feel definitely betrayed or it was a third party connection that was going on with this person because you're looking at them like you, you just don't want to be with them anymore, honestly. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. My allergies are acting up. Like, this person let you down. Um, and I feel like because it was the three of pentacles three times here and you're like, enough is enough. I gave you all the chances you could receive you can't give me the time of day you're never around when i truly need you this person is from your past this is coming off a soulmate connection here all right for the collectives uh this person is thinking about all the good times they can't stop thinking about you and they want to see where things go with you they want to start off fresh you know but this is what they're thinking but they're moving very slowly towards this and you're not moving at all, you know? You know what you want, you're sticking by a period, a point blank. If you don't see it, then you're not going to give your energy to anything. Um, for some of you, you're very distant with your friends and family right now because you're trying to focus on yourself. You're trying to get back to where you need to be because you feel a little bit lost here. And then we have the High Priestess. This is your energy. It's set in stone. I mean, you're not going to change it. You're very quiet, very silent. And you're just waiting for answers. But you already have it in your intuition. You know, nobody can tell you nothing. You, you already feel something, you know. You're listening to your intuition. So if your intuition tells you to move, you're going to move. If it tells you to stay, you're going to stay. Okay? Tell me more. We have the case. There's an apology coming towards you. This person abandoned you. Mm, look at that all right on the back we have the magician okay we have the magician what follows is the lover in reverse all right let me just put this up a little bit i want you guys i know my shirt I have to hate that t-shirt but i just want you guys to see the cards okay uh, let me put this up and stop it right here oh okay so this person definitely wants to get back with you this person wants a connection with you this person wants you know twin flame connection for some of you this person is very attracted to you they're manifesting you they're crying about you they're praying to the gods about you i mean they're trying everything to get you back um they want to know why you want to walk away this is what I'm getting. And I'm also feeling like, you know, this person abandoned this relationship. But they're missing you at the same time. I'm feeling like, you know, this person, it wands here. It's very skeptical. They don't know how to fix this connection. They're taking their lovely time doing this because not only the other they don't know how to get towards you or they don't know how to fix this. I feel like this person is definitely afraid of you and they don't know. They don't have the confidence in, you know, this situation. They feel like it's a done deal. But I do see them making a decision between juggling two things here. We do have the Ten of Swords as well, which tells me that this person definitely feels like they did this to you they betrayed you they stabbed you in the back you know this is why they're making this decision here but you are fine you're doing your healing i mean you're hurt about the situation because you really like this person but you know at this present time this person just didn't do what they needed to do which was you know stay on a straight arrow line i'm going to see what's going on with this uh, two of Pentacles. I want to clarify. 
clarify this two of pentacles for me, please? Angels. Oof. All right. Well, we have the ten of pentacles. So this person, I'm sorry, nine of pentacles. Give me two more cards, please. You feel like they're they're looking at you as being very happy, single. Ah, look at this, the devil in reverse. One more, please. Oof, I am not taking that too many. One more card, please, for this two of pentacles. One more card for this two of pentacles. What did you see for this two of pentacles? What's this decision about? Oh, okay. What's this decision about? Two of Pentacles, one card. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna take one. I am not taking two, sorry. All right, so we have the uh, Four of Wands. Yeah, okay. Well, we have the Three of Pentacles on the back of this deck, okay? I feel like they look at you as someone that they, even though this happened, they still look at you as someone that they can trust. You know, they look at you as someone that is beautiful. You don't need them. You are very independent. They're making a decision towards you. Um, they're coming back because they feel like, you know, they want to be with you. They're very addicted to you. They feel like you belong to them for some reason. Um, the two, Four of Wands is their 11-11 card, which this person feels like, you know what? You're their abundance. You're their person. You're their the person that they're they're seeming like they're gonna be happy with. And this is what this person is coming towards you with. Alright? This attitude, this confidence, but yet they are like they're making a decision to do this, but let me tell you, when they do do this, just know that this person has no confidence in themselves. It's like an act. They have to act a certain way to get what they want, okay? All right, <laughs> this is what I see for you collective. I hope it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video, give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye guys.